today's question is what are the causes of a runny nose and how can we deal with it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had many of my students who complained about having like nasal drip and maybe production of too much mucus uh, in the nose. And uh, first, I'm going to discuss it like from the viewpoint, what are the causes, like what is the mechanism here is, uh, although it uh, probably can be different causes, sometimes it may relate to diet, maybe people can be allergic to dairy products, particularly milk. Sometimes it can be a reaction to meat or fish, possible. And uh, also a lot of people would react to starches in a way that they produce much more mucus, or that may also exacerbate problem with runny nose. But what happens at the same time with all these people, like it's possible to address using diet and a lot of people can achieve remission, sometimes complete remission, like all symptoms are going to disappear. Uh, at the same time, all these people, they have chronic hyperventilation, which is again commonly present in up to 97, 99% of modern population, meaning that people breathe too much air without even suspecting and without even realizing that breathing more air causing, causes having less oxygen for the body oxygen test result, for example, and we can use other devices to measure oxygenation of tissues or cells. And people who commonly suffer from runny nose, they would have less than 20 seconds for the body oxygen test, whereas the norm is 40, so the norm is like very, very large, and we have less than 20 seconds, or at least half, or even less than the half. And that suppresses the immune system, so as a result, pathogens can grow in sinuses, and the secretory system can become hyperactive, and that produces exceptionally large amount of mucus. The mucus can be clear. Sometimes it can be with infection, so mucus becomes green or yellow. And in all these cases, people hyperventilate. Why do I say so? Because I had many students who just by having the briefing retrained are able, were able to completely cure or treat the problem with runny nose. And that means when we start to improve the body oxygen test results and get up to, let's say, 23, 25 seconds, the chronic problems with runny nose disappear completely. They may have only some residual, some like, uh, episodes, short episodes can be still present up to maybe 30, 35 seconds. But if we continue to improve the body oxygen test results even up to higher levels, then we are going to uh, able to re uh, reduce the problems with runny nose. So therefore, the answer to the second part of the equation, how to stop a runny nose, uh, we use briefing retraining technique. So apart from the diet, which I described at the beginning, it's possible to use briefing retraining by slowing down our automatic or unconscious briefing, using briefing exercises up to one, two hours a day, doing physical exercise with strictly nose briefing, 100% through the nose, very, very important to get maximum benefits from physical exercise, and making lifestyle changes related to sleep, to diet, certain other things, those lifestyle changes which help you to improve your body oxygen test results. So when these uh, steps are taken, a person is able to Im notice improvements in their body oxygen test result, and that means their breathing starts to calm down, start to slow down, closer to the medical norm, and that completely solves problems with runny nose, even without again achieving like the maximum level or whatever, uh, 40 seconds uh, result for the body oxygen test, the medical norm. So even on the way to this uh, norm, to this standard of health, people are able to get rid of the runny nose completely. And that's a very good news because this is totally natural uh, solution for this uh, serious health problem.